Colson, do you ship Fitzsimmons? Lovely, yes. Colson. Colson. I imagine all of you are in fandoms. Now, I'm sure that you know what that's like. I know what that's like. So this is kind of me venting about being in a fandom. Every week we have to deal with a new stressful situation, something that just overwhelms us completely. And basically, this is me venting them to whoever wants to listen. I'm mostly going to be talking about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is a very big fandom for me, and I'm sure it is for a lot of you who are watching this. So, fandoms. They're full of a lot of emotional people, especially over characters. Yes, fictional characters that we all get very attached to. Sometimes dramatic things happen, sometimes good, sometimes bad. We let out our feelings in various ways. I'm not one of those people who are very good at writing the meta posts that you probably see a lot of on Tumblr. You're all very good at that. I am not. This is why I'm doing this. First, I wanted to start off with spoilers. Sometimes we avoid them easily, sometimes we don't. I'm not one of those people that can avoid them easily. And if you're on Tumblr, you know that there's a feature that allows you to blacklist spoilers. However, I'm not one of those people. Probably because I like to feel emotional. We all get that. And sometimes you see things that you regret because then it kind of, there's no anticipation in the lead up to the episode. But I guess a lot of those make us even more emotional and more anxious to see what happens next. And characters do that to us as well. Fictional characters, we get very attached and emotionally invested in their lives and ship them, which is also a big part of being in a fandom. Everybody ships things. Mostly everything can kind of be a bit of like, what the fuck moment. Or you can be screaming with joy and I'm currently in between those two. I'm pretty sure everyone else is like that. Um, so last episode, I mean every other episode makes you guys go. So many things that just kind of threw you off a little bit like the end. What the hell was that ending? I mean, I kind of thought it was going to happen, but you don't, you know how you see things that you anticipate and then you think, no, that won't happen, and it happens. And then you don't quite know how to feel about that. Coulson and Rosalind, yeah, that happened. Yeah, that did happen, and I'm not too sure how I feel about that. It's, you kind of don't want it to happen, but you're curious. Anyway, like a whole lot of bad. It's gonna go down there. You saw the promo. Bad. So this promo, if you saw it, you know that Rosalind is a bad apple. There's stuff that's going to be causing a lot of trouble for Coulson, which like there always is. Um, there was not really a lot of build up to that. Like, how did that happen? Anyway, uh, that issue is probably going to sort itself out later. Sorry for all the Linda shippers out there. It's a hard time. That was actually a very emotional episode for me as well. I mean, <sighs> she's got a lot to cope with. I mean, her ex-husband is Lash. Sorry, spoiler, not really. He's an inhuman, okay? Um, and so his power is supposedly taking over his body and he has no way to really get out of it. Hopefully they'll find a cure for that or something, but now that they've got him uh, frozen, I guess is the word. If you looked at the last promo though, I think he gets out. So yeah, something is going also, Fitzsimmons shivers. I feel like it is 
a very good episode for us. This, like, we're getting progression here, which is very good. Gemma's never been one to communicate her feelings very well, and she would often, like, sideline them if there was an emotionally stressful situation. She didn't want to make it about her, she didn't want to express herself and it's not something that she can do easily. So now that we're getting communication between the two, it's finally going to get better. So we've had a lot of good moments between Gemma and Bits. I like to think that's a good thing, some people may or may not have good feelings but let's try to keep this positive. Well that is rude, my laptop is dying. Uh, yes, I'm wearing the same shirt that I was wearing last night. We all do it. Yes. No? No? Okay. No. no. Alright. Yeah, like I said, I'm not very good with all the meta stuff. However, I have a lot of feelings towards a particular ship, which I'm sure a lot of you do. Fitz Simmons. And we're all getting a little bit excited about what's happening. Because we know now that they're moving forward. So a lot of posts that I read, um, we're seeing a lot of development between the two of them obviously and Gemma herself is improving a lot as a character. She's going through a lot because of what happened on the planet and that she was missing for six months. She has PTSD basically, so she's trying to cope with that as well and then trying to figure out where her relationship with Fitz is going. Now that we've seen um, them talking, which is also a big step forward considering Gemma's never really been one to communicate her feelings very well. She's always sidelined them and just avoided them in general and now she's pushing forward with that. She's understanding herself a little better, she's listening to herself more so she can help herself express them a bit better. And uh, Fitz was always, um, not that either of them have been very good particularly with talking to each other, but he's also having an understanding of, he's dealing with his own uh, kind of troubles and now that Gemma's back, which is obviously a great thing, he's understanding her a little bit better um, in terms of the things that she's went through and now that she's opened up to him, that's also another thing that she's dealing with. So there's more communication, which is good. And particularly last episode where they were standing at the window watching the sunrise, which is in itself pretty significant because when she was on the planet there was no sun and now she's sharing something that she's been looking forward to for so long with somebody that she really cares about. And personally I think that the sunrise is symbolic in the way that it's uh, like a new beginning. And it's representing a new beginning for the two of them so that it's potentially opening some more doors for their relationship. We also have Fitz dealing um, with this whole situation I think a lot better than we first thought. He's very understanding and he knows that recovery takes a while especially with that really great Bobby Fitz scene that we had in episode I think it was. Um, I have a bad memory. So um, basically because of his own recovery that he's had to deal with, he understands that things take time and that it can be hard and he's not pushing Gemma in any way to understand herself any better. And he's very patient, which is a very good thing that he's doing. He's very supportive and regardless of his own feelings, he's willing to help her and um, he's taking the time to help with this whole portal situation and he knows that uh, Will is important to Gemma and he's, he, doesn't want to get his, he doesn't want his own feelings to get in the way of that. So what he's doing is immensely wonderful. Um, sure, I guess some of us 
I'm not gonna include myself, but some people take uh, the whole will situation pretty hard and I know that some of you um, don't like him, that's okay, he's a character. So uh, if you saw the last episode you know that Fitz was able to fix the sim card and he looked back on um, all the things that she'd been recording while she was over there. She also made a video for him. She thought that she was dying and that she wasn't going to see him again because well, let's face it, at that time she had not a great deal of hope though she was she was pushing forward, she was going to make it and she left a message for Fitz in case he in case they never found her so she wanted to leave something for him um, she actually thought about them a lot and she could never she never told Fitz but he saw this and he kind of came to an understanding he knew oh she kind of does feel something for me and of course it was pretty emotional to watch him watching those and it was upsetting and there were a few tears shed by him, maybe me. Um, so he's seeing a side of her that he didn't think that he would see and now that that's out there he actually approached her and they talked. We kind of, I think as a fandom we thought that there was going to be some kind of argument between them, that there were going to be some kind of heated discussion and that involved a fight, but that didn't happen. Kind of was hoping that they would be because they have a lot of, like I said, issues communicating with, between the two of them. But I feel like that might happen next episode. It's still a possibility because they need to vent out how they feel to each other and I'm mean, sure that it was a good conversation that they had because she opened up to him more. Um, he had mentioned to her that he saw the recordings and everything that she said and of course it did make him feel happy because she said that she had thought about settling down in Scotland. It's pretty significant in the fact that she had said to him that she wanted to settle down somewhere that is close to him, that's part of his home, that she, she wanted to make a home with him and somewhere that he is very connected to. Um, so that being said, while he was mentioning to her that he saw what she was talking about, um, he did give her a window out because he didn't think possibly that she would be talking about him in that kind of way. And he had said to her, oh, you know, maybe you were dehydrated, maybe you were tired, you couldn't possibly have said those. And then she said to him, no, yes, I knew exactly what I was saying. And I oh, was just, we're communicating. And that's a very good thing. So, uh, that, yeah, I think that was a good episode in terms of getting to that stage where it's potentially leading up to something more. And as far as other things go, I don't really have a lot of, like, I don't have bad thoughts about anything in particular. I'm pretty chill about everything. I don't really have a lot of conflicting issues. Yeah, so we all kind of know that Rosalind is a bit shady, particularly with what's going on with the Inhumans. And from the sneak peek, I, um, let's just go with the promo because I'm pretty sure all of you have seen the promo. So, um, Coulson is basically organising a team to find out what the ATCU, um, what they are up to. Because, as we know, governments are shady and we can't trust them. He's getting a team together to track down everything that's going on there. And on top of that, Lash is Andrew. I mean, I don't know if I even saw that coming. I did see a few people theorizing that he might be 
because I do read a lot of meta posts and again, you all do a very good job at that. I will just read them and agree with certain aspects. But yeah, he's changed and I feel like as he's now an inhuman, his other side, it's not him, it's controlling him differently because he, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why, but he's killing inhumans for some reason that he believes is the right thing to do. And now that they've got him, uh, I'm not really sure. Like, they've got him with the other inhumans, they've um, kind of caged him. What is it that they've done? I have a terrible memory and I'm trying to talk about a show. Wow. I am not the best person. So, uh, yeah, now that they have Andrew, they're obviously up to something. And I think from the clip that I saw in the promo, he wakes up and they manage to infiltrate the, um, the base, basically. Well, speaking of infiltration, what? Everyone has left the um, the base, full of shield, but Fitzsimmons is still there, so <laughs> I just have to read up a lot of everyone else's theories because at the moment my own thoughts are not very good, at, I'm not very good at formulating them and reading other people's, I kind of think, oh wow, that's very good, I would never have thought of that, so I just tend to agree with what everyone else says. Yay, you've been through a lot. So she said to go through a lot for what happened in Bahrain and now her ex-husband that she was kind of rekindling something with, he's having to deal with that as well and I'm just, why, why does she have to, why does she have to deal with all that? Poor me. Um, we have the situation that's going on with Daisy she has to cope with a lot more now that she's basically uh, become more in control of herself and her own identity she's gone from Sky to Daisy Johnson who's also Quake she's um, she's got a really good hold on her powers and now she's helping Coulson with all the inhumans that are now popping up she's helping to track them down before Rosalind and her team gets to them, and also Lash, so she's got a lot to deal with there, and Lincoln, who is on the run, because of the whole situation that is going on, she's trying to protect him, and uh, now that he has come out of hiding, he's willing to help, so her own feelings, I guess you could say, are another thing that she has to deal with. So, all these characters here, they have a lot of problems, um, they all have their own issues that they have to deal with, and it's a little bit stressful for everyone, including the fandom, but really the characters themselves are developing really well, and we all have a little emotional journey ahead of us in terms of what's happening in the show so um, uh, dealing with that is going to be challenging for everyone involved. I do have a lot of faith that um, these um, the writers know what they're doing and I think a lot of us are freaking out because we aren't understanding that something else is going on we can't see the bigger picture at the moment because we're only seven episodes in and uh, the mid-season finale is coming soon, so we're all kind of freaking out because we don't think that everything is going to be explained or fixed, which obviously it isn't, but we are getting more answers um, than we thought. Just collectively, I want to say to people in the fandom, please calm down, don't overdo it. I know that we're all a little bit upset about things, but really it's not something to freak out over too much. Sure, we are a little bit upset with the writers, but I feel like they 
are going to do something about that. And particularly we feel like we were robbed of the PTSD arc with Gemma because we didn't see more of her recovery. We're seeing it in stages, but with what happened to her on the planet, the way that they did that episode, I thought it was good. And but I also thought it was kind of confusing because we didn't see everything that we thought we were going to. Um, she did mention that she was being chased by something, which I'm pretty sure is the um, it, the sand monster thing that she did see a lot. And we're all a little conflicted about Will. We don't know if he is who he says he is. There's a lot of uh, conflict in the fandom about that. Some people like him, some people don't. I kind of do. I feel slightly regretful saying that, but sometimes you can't help but choosing who you like in the event. Just know that the writers know what they're doing and even if we're upset about some things that they've written into the show, we can all agree that they're doing the best that they can and I know that it's tough sometimes. Some people may have a different opinion to me but I'm not one to kind of be um, upset about those kind of things. I just... I deal with things how I deal with them and we all sort of need to understand that sure some people might be upset but please don't take it to heart. Just everything will be okay eventually. We aren't very far into it so I feel like they have something coming up that they're going to explain. The way that they set it out is a little confusing which upsets a lot of us. Sure I was not really happy with a few things that they did but like I said we can have faith in them because they seem to know because they're the writers. They know what they're doing, they all have ideas but they're laying it out in a way that we get a little confused and upset about. So for now let's just Take, take it how it comes and know that everything will be okay in the end and find something that makes you happy and hold on to it and just yeah uh, be happy about it if you can don't let it upset you everything will be okay just so you know, having caffeine late at night may not be the best idea.